Well, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me today. And we're out today on the new machine. And as you can tell by the title, it's the Aprilia RSV4, the factory. And look at this. This is literally my first ride out on this. I've literally just fueled her up. I think I've had about 10 miles, so I'm literally just tickling the throttle. I, I actually started off in street mode for a little bit, and I had to nip it up into sport mode just to see, you know, just to see uh, how she performed, you know, with the different engine maps and the different settings. But roads are a bit shite today. They are dry, but they're not the best. So uh, I'm just literally tickling the throttle and going easy, but what an absolute animal. I mean, the sound of it is absolutely phenomenal. When you get the revs up, obviously I can't get the revs up too high, uh, but yeah, I think you get, I think there's, there's, a, there's an exhaust valve on here. So when you get to about 4,000, I think this valve opens up and the roar out of that exhaust is unreal. That's, an ex, that's a standard exhaust on here. So this bike is totally standard out of the, out of the showroom, uh, out of the factory. And yeah, the only thing I did have is this, this EvoTech tail tidy installed so i was going to do it myself but i thought you know what you can't be just having a bike ready to rumble ready to jump on so anyway i'll fire her up and we'll have a little run we're not going to go too crazy but she springs into life the electronic suite on here is absolutely it's massive i mean i, I have had a look into it obviously before i jumped on the bike but we'll, we'll fire her up anyway <laughs> unbelievable right okay let's get rolling it's very windy today so hopefully you can hear me okay and i probably will shout a little bit but like i say the roads aren't brilliant and we have mr policeman oh that's for spoiling my fun come on he's letting me go he's not pulling out after me <laughs> but yeah anyway let's talk about the bike a little bit the bike is I said, well, I'm not, this is not a review, this is not a technical overview of the bike, but I will run through a few of the, the specs of the bike. The bike is two, a whopping 217. Whoa, horsepower. And I'm literally just tickling the throttle there, and the performance is absolutely phenomenal, is the word I'll get, I'll say. So it's got the Stylema brakes, it's got the uh, 330 mil disc, twin discs on the, on the front there. Fully Olin's electronic suspension all around the EC2 system, which is very, very customizable. I could do a complete video on that uh, on its own, but yeah, these roads. But <laughs> oh wow, crazy! I'm scrubbing the tyres in as well, so I need to go a bit easy with that. But oh. Past the front wheel, very very lively. I've got the, I've got the. Let's have a look here. Let me just, just scroll across here. So I've got the uh, standard on the sport mode. Oh, front wheel again. You really have to open the throttle, and the front wheel wants to raise its little nose. Oh, Christ. Yeah, I'm not going to go too crazy, but as I keep saying. You probably get bored of me saying that, but yeah. So they're on sport mode. The, look at this mud in the road here. So this is what you got to watch around here. Some lovely roads, but crazy. Might go a different route on the way back actually. Um, but yeah, traction control is on five, and anti wheelie control is on two, and the, uh, the front wheel's still lifting. So you can turn that off on this, which is uh, it's a very good system. So you can turn the anti wheelie off and leave the traction control on. There's eight settings on that traction control Ooh. I'm trying to keep the bike sort of below seven eight thousand rpm make sure that at least mr policeman's not following me that would be embarrassing i've been in a lot of trouble uh no i'm not going too crazy anyway but yeah i mean i i literally yeah, I sold the other bike. I, I missed the missed the sport bike route and the performance of these bikes. Uh, so yeah, you know, I'm not going to waffle on about that. But I'm looking forward to the summer. Whoa. 
If you look down, you can be doing some crazy speeds on this machine. But yeah, like I say, the, the specs of this bike, this, this being the factory model, it's got the forged aluminium wheels, fully electronic suspension, highly customizable, highly, highly customizable. You can change that in all of your maps. It's a massive suite of electronics. You can see there, if I scroll across, you've got loads more info there, which you can go in and change. You've got the user customizable settings as well. So like it's totally standard, this 217 BHP. And um, first impressions, that's actually, to be fair, it's a lot more comfortable than what, what I thought it was going to be. I mean, I've been out for about half an hour, 45 minutes. I mean, the seat is a bit wooden, which is... Uh, can be expected on a bike like this. The foot pegs aren't in a, you know, they're not, they're not right the way up. I haven't got my feet behind my ears. But yeah, anyway, anyway if you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing, hit that notification bell. Hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. It'd be much appreciated to have you along. And there'll be plenty more ride outs on this and uh, other bikes. I don't just do ride outs on my own machines, but I'll do uh, bike reviews when and where I can, so. I just love the sound of that exhaust when you open her up and like I say that exhaust valve, yeah, the exhaust valve opens. So you could literally coast through the villages, not causing any bother, and then you that that noise, that's that's the worrying thing. It's very addictive to, to lay the power on and listen to that 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 noise when that exhaust valve opens up up there. A little bit of water on the water on the road here. So yeah, running in this bike, I think it's 600 miles, and then it goes in for its first service. Well, they'll do a few adjustments and change the, the oil filter and all of that rigmarole. But I'm, I'm actually, like, first impressions of this bike, this machine is, what an absolute monster. What an absolute monster. So, yeah, this is the 1100 factory. <laughs> it does egg you on, that's the thing, but can't go too bad. I'm not going to say anymore. <laughs> I'm not going to say that anymore. But it just puts a big smile on your face. The brakes are absolutely unreal. One thing I have noticed on the bike though is I do occasionally hit neutral. And the thing is when you hit neutral, uh, obviously and then you go to put it back in gear, you do get that lash, that lashing noise. You know, the clunking, clunking of it going back into gear. And I don't, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Uh, Absolutely phenomenal bike, phenomenal. Oh, little pheasant in the road there. I want to squash them even more. But actually, to be fair, I mean, just little things that I'm noticing as I'm riding, like just things that, yeah, I know it's a sport bike and, you know, but the visibility in the mirrors, very, very good. There's no vibes in the vibes from the mirrors. They're very clear, very good. The, the buttons, yeah, I mean, this is probably, I'm not going to say how much it was, but it's a very expensive bike and the button cluster there is probably, doesn't maybe warrant the expense of this bike, but nevertheless, it's got actually as well, it's actually got cruise control, which, you know, it's a bit strange being a, a 217 BHP bike. Uh, it's a bit, bit, bit bizarre that, but you can actually adjust your settings on the fly so you can change from obviously the sport mode to you to user to the street mode from that button just here on the on the button cluster on the right hand side there and also you can you can actually flick through your, your of course very very windy and i have to cut this video a little bit short today but yeah you can actually flick through your traction control settings by this little pat uh, button kind of like a paddle button type thing with a plus and a minus on there on the left hand button cluster That'll scroll through your traction control, high or low. Obviously, the higher it is, the more intrusive it is. The lower it is, the more you're going to slide about. Um, <laughs> and, yeah, I'm, I'm going to leave that on five. That might be a little bit low, because it's got new tyres as well on this, obviously, a new, new bike. So, I am the first owner of this beast of a bike. So, yeah, I will be going through the running in process. There's no rush, no rush at all. Like a left here actually but yeah i did actually get a very good deal on the bike some lovely villagers around here that's the luxury of this bike you can ride it you can't really hear that exhaust 
you can obviously hear it, but you, you don't get that crazy V4 howl until you get about 4,000 RPM. And I'll show you, I'll give you a, a demo of that when we get in the Nationals. Oh, front wheel. See, I said neutral there. It just hit neutral when I went up from first to second. And I made that horrible clunking sound. It is new and it is, I am running it in, so one of those things. But yeah, my first impressions. Oh, <laughs> I'm literally just tickling that throttle. What a nice day today, other than the wind and a little bit of dampness on the roads, but. Anyway, just a very short video on the new, my new Aprilia RSV Factory 1100. And uh, yeah, stay tuned and there'll be plenty more videos coming. So uh, yeah, take care. See you soon.